Hey guys, welcome back. This is Professor Hank, and in this video, we're going to cover part five of our series on Python GUI programming. And in this video, we're going to take a look at um, how you can get input. Okay, and we're going to get input using a particular type of widget called the entry widget. And it's just a rectangular area. It's a rectangle, it's an area that's a shape of a rectangle where a user can type input, All right? So we're gonna use the get method for that uh, widget to get the data out of uh, the area or out of the widget, right? The, the data that's been typed by the user, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, get started. Um, now the get method, it, the, the, to I should point out too that you know what it's going to do is it's going to return a string. So if you want to do something with numbers, you know some kind of um, you know mathematical calculation, you'll first have to convert what was returned by that get method into a number. But you'll you'll see that here in a second. So we'll just write um, a simple little app that will um, ask the user to enter in um, you know maybe inches and um, then display to the user using a dialog box uh, you know feet and inches so we'll, you know so if the user types in you know 74 inches we'll convert that to feet and inches and we'll display that to or we'll display that uh, to the user right okay so let's go ahead and get on over to visual studio and start typing some code um, shall we so we're going to need to create, we'll go ahead and continue with the, the same um, stuff we've been doing. We'll go ahead and we'll, we'll create a GUI class. Okay, we're going to have to do our imports first. So import dkinter. Okay, and then we're going to need to import uh, the message box. Okay, because we're going to display that, uh, that message back to the user. Um, so let's create a class. And we'll call this, um, I don't know, height, or we'll call it, we'll just call it converter. Okay, we'll call it converter. We're going to need to have a init method. So uh, we'll call it init. And we're going to have to have that self parameter. Okay, and we're going to see all the stuff that we've been seeing so far. We're going to have to create the main window. And let me save that. And then we'll um, create a variable called main window. Window. We're going to assign to that um, tkinter.tk. Okay. So there's our main window. Now we'll create two different frames to group our widgets. Okay. So um, let's make two frames to group stuff up nicely. Right, so our, our apps here are getting a little bit more complex here. Right, so we'll have a top frame. Oops, frame. Okay, and uh, we'll need tkinter dot um, frame. And we have to specify what we're going to attach it to. And we're going to attach that to main window. Okay, and then we're going to make self dot bottom frame. Okay. And that's going to be a frame also. And we're going to attach that to the main window as well. Okay. Um, then we're going to create the widgets for that top frame. Let's make the widgets for the top frame. Okay. So what are we going to have in there? We'll have a prompt. You know, we'll say, you know, we'll say something like enter the number of inches. And then we'll have that that entry widget for the user to be able to type their stuff. Okay, so uh, let's do a prompt. So we'll just call this prompt. Okay, and then um, this is going to be a label. So tkinter dot label. Okay, and we're going to assign that or attach that to the top frame. Okay, and we're going to have to put our text in here equals um, enter inches okay so we'll do something that looks like that and um, 
Then we're going to create our entry box self dot we'll call it uh, inches Let's make sure we name this right self prompt uh, inches uh, entry I like that. okay and so then we're just going to do tk enter that entry okay and what we're going to put here is where we're going to attach it self dot top uh, frame and then we're going to say how wide we want it to be right so how many characters wide so we'll make this 10 okay now from there what we have to do is we have to pack the uh, top frames widgets we'll, we'll 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 pack those so let's pack those widgets okay so we're going to say self dot prompt right um dot pack and we'll put that on the left side so we'll say side equals left okay and then we have to pack the inches right and we'll say for that uh, side equals left as well side equals left okay and then let's create the buttons we're going to add a couple buttons for you know saying we are click calculate and click quit okay so let's make a, a calculate button and a quick button and those are going to go those go in the bottom frame okay so we'll say um uh self dot calculate um button and we'll say that equals tkinter dot button and we have to specify which frame we're going to or where we're going to attach it so that's going to be in the bottom frame okay and then we need to uh, give it a text okay so we'll say text equals calculate okay and then we have to specify an event handler right so we're going to do command equals um handler self dot handler which we'll define here in a second okay so that's our calculate button and then we'll do a quit button self dot quit equals t kinter dot button we're going to attach that to the bottom frame we'll say text equals quit Okay, and then the command is what? It's um, destroy, right? So we're gonna tell the uh, main window to destroy itself. Okay, so we got that. Now we need to pack those widgets, All right? So we got um, self.calculate button uh, dot pack. And we'll set the side equal to left as well. Equals left. Oops. Left. Okay. And then we'll pack the quit button. Uh, self dot quit dot pack. And we'll do side equals left as well. Okay. All right. Now let's pack up the frames. Now let's pack up those frames right now that we have everything attached to the frames so we've got the um, top frame okay we'll go ahead and pack that and we'll just leave the argument list empty there and then we'll do the uh, bottom frame okay so we got that then we have to uh, start the tkinter loop you're going to start that main loop So to do that, we're going to um, do tkinter dot main loop. Okay. Now we have to um, make that callback function, right? We have to make that handler. So let's define the callback, which is the handler. Okay. So what did we call it? Uh, da -da 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 -da, handler, right? So we're just going to define uh, handler. And um, we have to pass ourselves the self parameter as usual. Uh, let's see here. So what do we got to do? Okay, so we have to get the value entered by the user, and that's where that um, that get method comes in, right? 
So the number of inches is equal to, um, oh, let's see here, self dot inches entry dot get. Okay. Now remember what I was saying at the beginning was that um, what that method is going to return is going to be, um, we need to do self dot inches here. Uh, no, 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 we want it to be local variables. So never mind, we're not going to do self. It's going to be a string that gets returned by the get method, right? But I'm going to want to do some math. I want to do some arithmetic operations on that, right? So I have to convert, right? So I have to convert it. So um, let's convert it to integers, right? Because they're going to be whole, in, they're going to be whole uh, inches. Uh, all right. So the user we need to convert to a numeric type right because remember as i said get returns as a string right okay so now let's con let's uh, go ahead and get the uh, inches and the feet okay so for feet right we want to do integer division right so we're going to do divided by 12 Okay, they'll give us how many feet we have. And then inches, we're gonna do inches modulus 12. Okay, so that should give us both of those. Okay, and once we've done that, uh, once we've done that, oops. Once we've done that, then we're gonna do the dialog box, okay? So display the results in the dialog box. Okay. So uh, let's see here. Okay. Let's go ahead and um, TK or tkinter dot message box dot show info okay and then we're gonna say results let's get the title bar and then we're gonna say um now the show info that goes into our message box it's got to be a string right so we're gonna have to convert those numbers back into you know the feet and the inches we're gonna have to convert those back into uh strings right so so string uh, feet plus um, we'll just say something like feet, comma, plus three uh, inches, okay, plus uh, inches. Something like that, I think, uh, we'll do. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, so let's go ahead then and call this. Okay, now let's instantiate. Uh, convert or a class which is converter instantiate converter okay so we're gonna have if name oops equals main oops learn to type Hank uh, if that's that if that's equal then we'll create uh, C equals converter That'll do it. Okay, maybe I'll name this converter GUI because it is a GUI. Okay, so converter GUI. All right, so let's let's test it, and if anything explodes, then I'll um, then I'll fix it. Okay. All right. First mistake is that I forgot dot pack. Okay, let's try it again. Okay. Second mistake is didn't have my handler indented correctly. So let's fix that and try again. Third mistake, that should be a dot. Okay, and let's try one last time. All right, we got something going now. Let me make sure you can see it. Yep, there it is, enter inches, calculate quit. 
So uh, let's enter 74 inches, I think. 74 inches is what? Six foot two, right? So we'll go ahead and we'll click the calculate. Okay, so you can see there's a six foot uh, two inches and we'll go ahead and we'll click OK and then we'll quit. All right. So yeah, there you go. So that's that's everything I got for you in this video. So, you know, what did we cover? Right. How now you know how you can uh, get input in your GUI through an entry widget. So hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please consider giving a thumbs up if you thought the video sucked. Consider giving it a thumbs down as well. Leave a comment. Consider supporting the channel in various ways. We've got uh, memberships with additional perks for as little as 99 cents a month. You can join as a, uh, or there's the super thanks there as well. And if you're a student of mine, as usual, um, and you have any questions, hit, hit me up with an email, stop by my office hours, hit me up on Zoom, you know, whatever you need. Thanks for watching and we'll see you uh, next time.